Hello YouTube, Robert Alvarez the Psychic Witch, also known as Mr. Lighting and a Fan. Right now the time is approximately 10.19pm and the current date is still uh, Monday, March 19th, 2018. So I wanted to talk to you about something that I began doing several years ago. So, um, you know, <laughs> You know that there are some people that, that love having t-shirts with different things printed on them? So there, I, I don't wear those kinds of t-shirts. I think they're funny and entertaining, but they're, those are the kinds of t-shirts that I'd rather see on other people, not on me. However, there are two t-shirts that um, I would absolutely wear. One reads, do what I say and nobody gets hurt. And the other one is, everybody has a right to my opinion. Some of you are like learning so much about me now, like, oh, Robert's one of those bitches. Yes, <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> no, but seriously. Um, and over the last few years, I have happily given people my opinion uh, via various surveys. Now, over the years, not surprisingly, I have encountered <clears throat> various surveys that absolutely insist, that absolutely claim that they pay cash for surveys, meaning that they will pay the survey taker money in exchange for doing the surveys. But there is only one company that I have encountered in the last five to ten years that actually does that. They were originally known as Mint Vine, and they recently became branded surveys. And my intention was to do this video when it was still Mint Vine, because I happen to love their logo a lot more when it was Mint Vine than when it's branded surveys. But I can honestly tell you that I have received money. Now, here's the thing. Um, my preferred option with regards to receiving money in exchange for taking branded surveys surveys is to have money sent to my paypal.com account i love seeing money in my paypal.com account i love it when money is sent into my paypal.com account so for me that's that's the that's the standard option um i am aware that now since there are other companies besides paypal.com that receive money or that are money providing services like Venmo, Dwala, etc. Zelly is a new one. Um, so I know that there are other options that one can have uh, to receive money from branded surveys research as a, you know, into something other than paypal.com or rather, rather one's paypal.com account. And then, of course, I will tell you that when I first began learning about what was then called Mintvine, I was amazed at the number of gift cards that are available um, for people that may not necessarily want to do it for the money or may not necessarily want to receive money, but they're like, well, you know what? I go to this store all the time. Let me receive a gift card from them. Um, I actually have not gone through all the gift cards. There were that many. And the last time that I actually visited the gift card section, I, I still didn't go through them all. But I can tell you that if there's a gift card, whether it's for a clothing store, an accessory store, um, a restaurant, uh, it's probably there. And there are plenty of them. Now, what I, loved, what I love about this, uh, even more than receiving money in exchange for giving people my absolutely honest um, not at all humble opinion is that I have a referral link so when somebody registers for Mintvine using my referral link once they complete their very first survey I receive 50 points now I gotta tell you that's very sweet and every time after that if they complete a survey I receive points so in addition to receiving points for the surveys that I complete. I'm receiving points for the surveys that anybody who joined brand, now what's now called branded surveys 
uh, using my referral link. Um, so I love that. I will tell you I love that very much. Um, and, you know, this is not something that I do every day. It's, it's something that I do when I have the time to do it. And it was so funny because I remember the person who mentioned this on his Facebook page uh, was somebody that I had met at a pagan festival several years ago. And I remember reading what he wrote. And pretty much what he, read, what he wrote was that it's the only survey company that he's encountered that has that actually does pay cash in exchange for surveys meaning that it's the only company out there at least the only one that i've encountered and the only one he's encountered that actually pays people money in exchange for doing their surveys um i have set personal records for myself and i can tell you that um sometimes i have received $23 after a month. Sometimes I've received a little bit more than that. My record is $75. Um, I had a period of massive downtime. No, that's not true. It wasn't massive downtime. It was, I, I wanted to beat a personal record. I wanted to have, um, I wanted to exceed my previously pay, my previous payout. Um, I haven't done that in a while. Uh, hence my recent $23 branded surveys payout but i will tell you it's a fun thing to do um and my recommendation to you if you want to do this keep in mind that for you to like receive hundreds of dollars you would need to devote a lot of time and energy to do it but if you want to receive let's say a couple of bucks here and there or some extra money for a gift card or what have you it's a nice change of pace. And certainly it's a fun thing to do if you want to give people gift cards for their birthdays or for the holidays or things like that. Uh, the description box will include <clears throat> my referral link. My recommendation also would be to fill out all the information. So um, I know that there's one page that lists uh, preferences as far as like, um, interests so usually if that's the case um, then like I will receive a lot of a lot of surveys that have to do with books that have to do with motion pictures that have to do with TV so because those are some of my interests and of course it's a very um, you know the questions are very easy some of the surveys are long uh, and you certainly have the option of, of skipping a survey there are some surveys that I've skipped not only because they were long or they were longer than I would have preferred or because the points offered in exchange for completing it were a bit low. I think the lowest I ever encountered was like 20 points um, for a half hour survey and I was like, nah, I'm not going to do that right now. And there are times when I want to do a lot of surveys in a row just to like get points. So it's fun. I, I enjoy doing it. It's a lot of fun. Um, I would recommend that if you do join, make sure that you use my referral link because what that does is that I actually will receive points when you complete a survey. Um, I will not harass you. <laughs> I promise you, I will not harass you. I will not say, well, you haven't done a survey in a long ass time, bitch. I won't do that, I promise. Uh, I, I, there is somebody, there are two people that have registered using my referral link. One of them, I, I can do that. Uh, the other one, I cannot do that because I don't even know who she is. Um, I remember seeing her name and I was like, who's this? <laughs> I just have no idea. But she has never done a survey. Um, so, and, and there could be a lot of reasons for that. But I would recommend com making sure that you complete uh, the registration process. And also keep in mind that it's not just limited to people who live in the United States. There are some surveys where they will ask, do you live in the United States? Do you live in Canada? Do you live in Europe? Do you live in Australia? Do you live in the United Kingdom? So there are surveys that are geared to people who live in other countries, which I thought was very fun and very cool and very exciting. And a great way to score points really fast is to do the daily polls. Uh, the daily polls are automatic and you will receive an automatic five points just by answering it. 
Um, I've enjoyed some of the daily poll questions and some of them are extremely easy. Like I know that during, um, on Thanksgiving last year, um, anybody who basically clicked on Happy Thanksgiving, on the words Happy Thanksgiving, they received an automatic five points. Uh, last year there was one that said Merry Christmas in December. I clicked on that and uh, clicked submit, got an automatic five points. And then of course, um, what I also love is that branded surveys are very on top of things. Um, I know that there was something that I had been receiving um, a few times and it was basically, a, it was a quick questionnaire and it was something along the lines of, are you right now A, B or C? Or rather one, two or three. One was uh, a student, but not a university student. Uh, two was an apprentice, apprentice or an intern. Like I have an apprenticeship or an internship. And the third one was something else. And none of it applied to me. And I was like, you know, and I remember writing to, I, I, did the, I clicked on contact us and I wrote a, a message to branded service. And I said, listen, you know, it, can you modify this? And can you do, um, you know, an all of the, a none of the above option or whatnot. And then I, I received a, an email response, no lie, not even five minutes later. And the response was that I was awarded points for my trouble and that they're looking into the situation and they're going to rectify it as soon as possible. And I was just like, wow, you know, I mean that, I mean, I've received some pretty fast responses from branded surveys in the past and from Mintvine when it was called Mintvine, but no line, not even five full minutes later, I receive the email and I received the points and I was very happy with the amount of points they gave me too. I was like, well, that's very generous on, on their part. So definitely make sure to fill out the registration in full, list your interests, list your passions, list what you do professionally, if you have a position of employment, if you're going to school, because the more of that that you fill out, uh, the more you'll be contacted for surveys. I primarily do the surveys on the desktop website, but there are some surveys that are mobile only, meaning that you can only do them on a tablet or on a mobile phone. So it's certainly a fun thing to do if let's say that you have a commute and you know, you're know you not driving and somebody else is doing the driving and you wanna like do your surveys while you're on your way to your position of employment or you're on your way home from your position of employment or you're on your way to a date or you're on your way from a date or you were on your way to meet some friends uh, and have dinner or on your way to meet some friends and like dance the night away. Uh, but I, I definitely enjoy doing it. And even though there are some others that I, I'm a member of, uh, branded surveys gets, gets the most amount of my time and energy. And I love that. I really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. And if you do register, please let me know because I would love to uh, be on the lookout for you. Uh, although I'll probably know before you even have a chance to tell me because I'll see the no the referral tab on, on my homepage in branded surveys and it'll be like, Oh, this person, right? I'm like, oh, and I'll be like, oh, I know that person. Or I'll be like, who's that person? I don't know. But anyway, let me take a sip of my tea. Yes, I know. Tea, not coffee. Not cafe bustero tonight, I know, right? Um, it's been a while since I've used my on-screen mug. Lately, I've been using my Spirit of the Bear mug after participating in the Spirit of the Bear workshop, which was co-produced by Pod NYC and uh, Bear Your Soul. Um, at Rainbow Mountain Resort, but I figured this would be a nice change of pace for tonight. So YouTube, if you have not already subscribed to the YouTube channel of yours truly, Robert Alvarez, The Psychic Witch, I absolutely invite you to do so. Make sure that you click or tap the bell icon. That way you will make sure to receive a notification that I have uploaded a video. Uh, right now, I'm a little bit behind on videos, and I know that um, this is the second of four videos that will be recorded tonight and I anticipate recording somewhere between two and five videos on Wednesday. So I'm, I'm slowly but surely catching up on videos. Um, and there are some videos that I'm going to finally do, which I've been, this is one of them. Um, yeah. And oh, also periodically make sure that your bell icon remains 
activated because for some reason YouTube has been deactivating the no, the bell icon for some YouTube channel subscribers. So if you haven't seen one of my videos in a long time, or if you haven't received the notification that I uploaded a video in a long time, recheck your bell icon. Make sure that it is clicked or tapped. And of course, if you have not already um, scheduled your intuitive card reading with me or your um, private metaphysical class or your energy healing treatment with me, whether it is in person if you live and or work in the New York City area or by phone or by Skype if that's more convenient for you, then I highly recommend you do so as soon as possible. Um, officially, I will be available for sessions as of Monday, March, excuse me, Monday, April 2nd, 2018, which is the day after Easter Sunday. I have not yet begun scheduling appointments in April. That is going to change. That will probably change um, within the next day or two. So my recommendation to you is that if you have a date and time in mind to have a session with me in April of 2018, schedule it ASAP, because if you don't, I promise you somebody else will. The best way to reach me is my email address, which is thetaroman at excite.com. Once again, that is T as in Tom, H-E, T as in Tom, A-R-O, T as in Tom, M as in Michael, A, N as in Nancy, at E-X-C-I-T-E dot com. I wish all of you many blessings, a beautiful evening, and yes, tonight is the night before the vernal equinox. Tomorrow is the date of the first day of spring. It is what some magical traditions call Ostara, that time of springtime, of new beginnings, of the dawning of a new day, of the opening of new doors. And I have a feeling that it's going to snow tomorrow because it wouldn't be the first time that it snowed in my area on the first day of spring, and I doubt it will be the last, and I'll find out soon enough. But in the meantime, I wish all of you many blessings and a beautiful night and a wonderful week. Thank you, YouTube, and good night.